natural progression that takes place that's individualized. Yes. You know, I'm one who you know long enough that I like to use some kind of substantiation to look at things typically from a biochemical standpoint or try to measure a certain potential. And this is certainly beyond that to a certain extent. However, when we were talking earlier, you had mentioned that you had used the heart rate variability and noticed uh, an immediate impact within about a 10 minute period of time. Yes, we did a study on about 20 different people and we had them do an HRV beforehand and then we would give them 10 drops of the transformer and wait 10 minutes and then redo the HRV. And what we found is, is that typically it would reduce the tension index marker and increase the reserve energy. And at the same time we did, we used a bioimpedance device that allowed us to look at the cellular water, intracellular and extracellular water inside the human being and we found that it could increase the intracellular water within just that short period of time. You know, what's interesting to me is that I look at specific biomarkers and we were talking earlier about the utilization, intercellular utilization of nutrients and of fluid that's controlled by the mineral corticoids or that portion of the adrenal glands that's separate from the portion of the adrenal glands that produces survival hormones. And from, from what you're telling me, there has to be a direct impact on the adrenal reserves or if we were to look at it simplistically if somebody had a, a battery within them uh, we would be able to measure using heart rate variability for instance the level of that battery if it was full or if it was half discharged or completely discharged and the nice part those who aren't aware of what heart rate variability can do HRV um, has the ability of looking at the fight-flight mechanism in real time and it's an incredibly valuable tool so uh, essentially what you're telling me and my interpretation of this from the standpoint of the heart rate variability and the bioimpedance is that there is a change that's occurring in real time as it relates to stress so the physiological stress that one would be experiencing and somehow is nullified or reduced to a certain extent through the use of transformant uh, and that just amazes me we know that water holds the memory of anything that it comes in that it experiences and the experience that we put the transformant through is uh, almost like a crisis and you know this from your own life that uh, things that you learned in school in an educational standpoint where you were listening to a teacher talk you may or may not remember that but you remember crisis in your life you remember oh, when sure. you lose a lost one or when you get a divorce or when some other really major thing happens in your life you'll remember that forever and the, the experience that we're putting the transformant through is such a crisis for the water that it basically fills up all of its memory banks to where it doesn't really forget that and since it's been through that crisis, when a person drinks the, the transformant after it's actually been made and gone through this experience, it imparts that experience to the water of the person's body. And the person, usually the, the main um, response that we get from people taking the transformant is, is that it doesn't really make the issues go away in my life but it takes the charge off of them or things that used to push my button don't push my button anymore and that, that sort of statement.